Okay, so you want to make books for your scene, but you want the easiest, most laziest way to do it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's going to be super easy, super cool, super great. So, basically, I'm making procedural books with image textures as the base. And funny thing enough, you can click on these books and you hit Shift D, duplicates, it turns to a different colored book. So, yeah, pretty easy to make very very large amounts of books. Oh, there's going to be a lot of books saying in this one. You know, fill a library. You know, make a library. Animate it. You know, put John Wick in the middle of it. He does, you know, he does best. But, you know, that said, this is the way I make it. That's new scene. And let's not save this. And, yeah. So, the most obvious thing you want to do is model a book. So, Get the cube, that's important, but before that, you need to go over to your favourite place, Pinterest is mine, and search for old book covers, because these will be the base of our book. So, find these types of book covers, the ones that have all the size, both sides, and the spine. There's a lot of them available online, they're free to download. Now then. Let's actually get started with the modeling. So select the cube, scale it down on the Z axis, scale it up on the Y axis, go to that select mode, select two edges and bevel them. Next go to face select, select three faces, hit I to inset, and then use the extrude tool to extrude it along the nozzles. Once you're done, shade smooth, all this move, and we're down to shading. I'm just gonna cut my viewport in half because lag, obviously. So, shader editor, here we go. First thing you wanna do is find an image texture and plug that into the base color. Now, go grab an image that you have downloaded earlier. I'm gonna take that image of a blue book and I was going to use that. Next we're going to do some UV editing so go to UV editor and we're going to UV unwrap this thing. Move the UVs around and once you're done let's start adding some texture. So select the three faces we're going to send to the paper part and we're going to assign new material to it. Uh, Shade Editor, we're going to use a noise texture to add a bit more roughness. So, find a noise texture, use a color ramp to control the color of the, uh, the noise. Connect the mapping node along with an object coordinate node to the noise. And now we can use the mapping node to stretch it along the UVs, making a sort of um, paper pages looking thing. So duplicate the noise texture, connect that to the mapping node, and we're going to add in a bump node so that we have a little bump uh, along the pages. And this is literally faking it, making it look like we have a lot of pages. So tweak the numbers a bit more and then just change the colors a bit. And we're done with the pages part. Next up, we're gonna add some texture to the covers. So for this one, we're going to use a Voronoi texture. Pull it out, set it to 4D, and find the texture shape that you like. And yep. Just like before, we're going to add in a color ramp so we can control this thing better. And after doing some tweaking, we're going to add in a bump node so that we can have some bumps on our covers. And when it's satisfied, we're going to connect this to the roughness of our paper. Now, a quick way to get extra detail is to duplicate the bump node and then connect the bump to the normals of the first bump node and use a noise texture along with a color ramp 
uh, to add in some small grainy detail uh, that you, uh, you can hardly get normally. Just make sure that the bump is not too strong, that it pretty much overpowers everything else. So just do a little tweaking and you get the right amount. Normally it's by setting the strength of the bump notes very very low. Next we're going to add in our image texture to our roughness by using a mixed RGB. This way we get some more uh, refined uh, roughness on our book model. Now lastly I'm going to show you how I made those books change color each time I duplicated them which is very easy. So you take a hue saturation node and then you plop it in between the base color and the image texture uh, and then you add in an object then for node drag the randomness and connect it to the hue. Very easy. Now each time you duplicate the object it's going to take a random selection of the hue. And the last part is just to take a plane and duplicate it a few times to make it look like there's actual pieces of paper in here. And since we've already done the UV, we could just take a different texture and then keep on making books until the cows come home. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I am very spent. I haven't slept yet. Uh, so. I actually lost a lot of the uh, voice recording, voiceover for, for this one, so uh, I had to do it all over again, which is tiring since I'm not exactly an English speaker. Anyways, like, share and subscribe. See ya!